Whoa. Wow. I was running late, but I'm here now. In today's video, I find two pretty unique items that I'm dying to show you. But at the last store today, and these I really want to show you, I find some ceramic figures. Now they're made by pretty well-known ceramic makers and they go for pretty decent money. So don't miss that. Okay, well, let's get this video started. At the first stop of the day, which happened to be a Goodwill store, I saw this angel watching over baby Jesus figure. It was a music box. It was by this company, Roman Inc. They were asking $4.99 for it. And online, they go for around $25. So I had my first item. A few hours later, I spotted this ice bucket. It was made of wood. It had a mid-century look to it. They wanted $5.99 for it. I found out later that it was made of teak wood. So that made me want it a little bit more. And online, people are asking about $35 for these. And that's just about what I'm going to ask for. It. And I think I'll get it. I started to walk down this row. And it wasn't long before I found my next item. It was this brass boat anchor. You hook this to the wall and it becomes a hat or coat rack. Or I guess whatever you want to hang off it. It was $5.99, and online they go for $25. This next row mostly had wicker baskets on it, and I wasn't very interested in them. So I just headed to the next aisle. Gotta be better stuff there. Next up, I saw this very cute gingerbread plush doll. He was wearing a tag that said, do not pull my leg. Well, if you do, he says seven hilarious sayings. So for $3.99, I bought them just for me. Well, store number one is coming to a close. So let's get ahead into store number two and see what we find there. Are you ready? Well, let's go. At the next store today, I find these two that I thought were pretty unique items. Now, I'm used to every day going out and finding pretty much the same stuff. So it's a lot of fun every once in a while to find something that's out of your comfort zone. Okay, well, let's go. After about 10 minutes of searching this store, I saw my first item. It was this pink unicorn. Now, these are called Fa Real Pets. Goodwill was asking $6.99 for them. And online, they go for $25. In another part of the toy section, up on this top shelf, I saw these two Disney Beauty and the Beast light-up goblets. They were marked at $3.99 each. Now, I've sold them before, and I get from between $15 and $20 for them, so I definitely wanted both of these. When I got to this row, I noticed something that I thought was pretty unique. It was this Christmas globe shaped like a vintage alarm clock. It lit up. It played music. It was only $6.99. And online, they go for $30. Well, speaking about unique, when I got to this aisle, I saw this beer tap handle shaped like a vintage phone handset. They were asking $6.99 for it. It said Urban Wheat Ale on it. And online, they're getting $35 for these. Well, there was nothing unique on this aisle. Actually, it was just filled with pretty much junk. So what did I do? I headed to another aisle, of course. Well, as soon as I turned the corner... I saw this snowman candle holder. Goodwill had priced it at $5.99. It's by this guy, Harry Slatkin. And I guess he must be somebody, because these are selling for between $30 and $35 online. So, you're right. It's mine. Well, it's time to be heading to the next store today. 
And while I'm there, I only find ceramic items. I find a Hummel, I find a Yadro, and I find a Goebel. Plus, as I'm up online paying for this stuff, I find another item, a pretty special item. And I know you're going to want to hang around for that. Well, the first thing I found at this third store was a figure of a little girl nursing her cat back to health. They only wanted a dollar ninety nine for it. When I turned it over, turns out it was by Hummel, which is a really good name in ceramics, and they sell for twenty five dollars. The next thing I found was this winter scene for only two ninety nine. It was really well made. This was made by Goebel, who makes Hummel figures and sells for $25 also online. Well, after finding those other two ceramic pieces, this aisle was a real letdown because I didn't find anything on it. But undeterred, I continued my journey. Yes, I did. Well, talk about being surprised. When I got to this aisle, up on the top row, I saw this fairy godmother figure. It was made by Yadro, which is even a better ceramics maker. They wanted six ninety nine for it, and online these go for over a hundred dollars. Well, guys, needless to say, I was pretty happy with what I found at this store, so I headed up to the cashier. But wait, there's more to this story. Don't go anywhere. Let me tell you about it. While I was up getting ready to pay for my stuff, I saw this box that said Yadro on it that someone had left up at the cashier counter. They were asking six ninety nine for it. Inside were three Christmas ornaments, and they go for $50 on eBay. What a great day I'm having! Well, there's just one more thing. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you again in a week, guys. Bye-bye.